Hello everyone. I welcome to Creative Java Programming. Today I am going to show you how to import previous Java project into new version Eclipse IDE. So watch the video till end and I guarantee if you watch the video till end you will be learning a lot of new things. So at the end of the video you will be able to run Java project with the help of latest version Eclipse IDE. So if you face issue in middle you can always comment me on comment box and I am also on Instagram now. So you can also DM me over there with your screenshots and everything. I will definitely going to help you. So now to import previous projects in Eclipse, let's see step by step in this video. So first of all, launch the Eclipse IDE, right? So this is latest version of Eclipse IDE. So launch the what is this, right? So this is my first Java project that is I have created a class and I have passed message welcome to creative Java program. So it's running yes right it's passing me message. So let's import our previous created project in latest version of Eclipse ID. This is newly installed Eclipse ID right. So I want my all the project that I have created in previous versions right so how we can do let's see step by step so go to file menu right open project from file system right so go to directory so where you have created your all projects so let's see i have created my previous Java project in F drive, right? So in F drive, I have created a Java double E projects, right? So select that one. You can see here I have created lot of projects, right? In my previous version, I want to run in my new version, right? So that's why select Java double E projects. Whenever you have created your project, select that folder, right? So Java double E projects in this I have created are my projects right so I am going to select this one. Now just click on finish button. Here you can see it's giving me error right while importing. I have it's giving me in every project is giving me error. So I am going to tell you how to resolve these errors. So to resolve the errors select project right. I am selecting this project app Java 2 right. Go to properties and here type JRE right. Here you can see Java build path right. Double click on that. And here you can see libraries, right? So these are these all projects I have created using JDK 1.8, right? So to run these project, we have to import JDK 1.8, right? So how we can do that? Let's see. So to import JDK 1.8 JRE system library, double click on that. Here you can see execution environment, right? So select that one, and here we have to select JDK 1.8, right? JDK 17.0.2, right? Select that one and click on finish button. And apply, apply, and close. Here you can see 
project errors is gone right so you can see all the project error is gone so to remove project errors we have to do in every projects so in every project we have to do the same steps right so select access specify project go to properties right and here you can see jri system library jdk 1.8 right or you can do also like that select project and go to here build path right configure build path and you will direct redirect to this window right so to import jdk 1.8 select double click on jri system library jdk 1.8 right double click on that here you can see execution environment right so select and it's by default taking java 23 right so select here jdk 1.8 and just click on finish button now apply apply and close now project error is gone right here let's see it's working or not here all the project error is gone right now in every project we have to do same thing right so let's do in every project same step go to select build path configure build path and uh, here double click on jdk 1.8 and uh, here uh, it's not like that we have to only use jdk 1.8 we can also select uh, jdk 17 whole, right we can also do that any jdk we can select and apply and project error is gone right so let's see go to build path configure build path jri system library double click on that education environment select jdk 17 or jdk 1.8 right select finish apply and close project error is gone right so using this step we can do we can solve the all the project errors right